Hello everyone. So welcome to this uh, new video of uh, model paper solution. So till now, uh, those who have uh, referred our my previous videos, you can see, see that we have solved or we have discussed the model paper solution uh, for uh, model, question, model question paper one as well as two for the first four modules. As that is module one, two, three, two, three, four. Four different videos are there are is available in our channel. You can refer our playlist. Those who have not uh, watched it, you can refer that first. Then after that, in this last session, we are going to discuss the solutions for module five, model question paper solutions for set one as well as set two. So I know that some of the questions are pending. Okay, those questions that uh, pending questions that we are going to provide it in a, a shortest amount of time. Okay, so some of the programs similar to that questions. Okay, that which we have discussed, which we have not discussed some of the assembly language program. Some of the similar programs you can refer our uh, concept video where separately for all the modules I have discussed some of the important uh, assembly language programs. So those programs are similar to the programs which we have given in the model papers. Okay, so that you can refer it down. Okay, that playlist it's available in the playlist only. So all the conceptual videos and all the assembly language important programs for this microcontroller subject I've discussed deeply for each module. Okay, so you please refer that playlist. Okay. So that playlist, uh, all the important uh, programs I have discussed to you all, okay, related to this subject, all the assembly language programs as well as the C programs, okay. So yeah, now let's start with module five. First question is nine A. With neat diagram, write an assembly language program to interface stepper motor, okay. So this concept of stepper motor is very important. In this module five, one or two questions related to stepper motor would be asked. So this carries ten marks, okay. Then again. Uh, to interface the stepper motor, or that is, we can give or take any example of rotating the stepper motor clockwise, anti-clockwise, or step stepwise, anything. So here, uh, first example is write an ALP to rotate the stepper motor clockwise, anti-clockwise, continuously with full step sequence. Okay, full step sequence here they have mentioned here, so that's why write this whole code for full step. Okay, note that motor to rotate in anti-clockwise, we need to be using the instructions RLA instead of RRA. So in order to move the Stepper motor in clockwise direction, the instructions which you need to be using is RRA or that is rotate right A. Rotate right means it will be moving in this direction. So that's why this is at anti-clockwise direction. Rotate left A, it is in this direction. This is anti-clockwise direction. Okay. Yeah. So this is one simple example. Again, one more. A switch is connected to pin port 2.7. And to write an ALP to monitor the status of this uh, SW and it motor moves clockwise if FW equal to 1. Okay. So this is the simple code for that. You can note it down. So this is this was the solution for the first question. So pause the video and refer it. So the next question is 9b. Explain the interfacing of DC motor using C programming. Okay, so this again DC motor, I guess it's deleted from the syllabus. So DC motor questions won't be asked. So don't worry. So now let's get to the next question 10a. With a neat diagram, write an assembly language program to interface LCD, okay, that is liquid crystal display to 8051 microcontroller. This is very, very important question here, okay. And this is the biggest code, okay. Still here, this is, this is the code here, the big code for interfacing LEDs because we have a lot of steps here to interface an LED, right. That is, we need to be moving some of the bit registers in uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. So that's why we are going to call a time dealer before sending a next data command from port 1.0 to 1.7 are connected to LCD data pins D0 to D7. Port 2.0 is connected to RS pin of LCD. P2.1 is connected to RW pin of LCD. Then P2.2 is connected to E pin of LCD or an enable pin of LCD. Okay. So from here the code starts. Okay. So note down this code here and from here up to here. So here it, uh, Interface uh, and LCD, for example, interface LCD for that we can take any simple uh, word here that is interfacing the letter, transferring the letter, uh, so transferring the word yes, okay. So that's why we are taking the command as move a y, move a e, and move a s by calling the delay for a single single letter. And these are the, the separate codes for uh, COM and WRT, data WRT and delay code, okay. Separately, they have written it three times. So this is from, from here. To here is the code, okay. Then uh, these are the separate uh, codes for uh, these uh, loops here, okay. For uh, separate, uh, what to say, uh, letters, 
so that's why you can note it down so the next question is very important again explain DAC or digital to analog converter interfacing with diagram and also write the program to generate staircase waveform okay yeah so digital to analog converter okay the whole brief explanation is given so in mainly this digital to analog analog converter uh, uses the R2R uh, ladder converter or the binary weighted uh, EAC in order to function okay so these are the common bits the input bits used in the DAC converters that is 8 10 or 12 bits most of mostly we are going to prefer 8 bit uh, DAC converter only okay so for a simple uh, program so this is the interfacing diagram of uh, DAC 0808 you can refer it here okay so the, this figure is for 8051 connection to DAC 0808 okay and where this uh, converter here is called as a uh, amplifier is called as op amp is called as i2v converter that is current to voltage converter in order to provide so the current uh, which is uh, getting an output is the current here so in order to co convert this current to voltage we use this uh, uh, op amp and this is called as i2v converter in order to get the waveform in a voltage form in order to uh, connect this in the CR okay. So this is a simple code C program to generate staircase waveform. You can write this code and the waveform generated is of this type staircase. Okay. So this is the staircase waveform generated. You can, uh, um, if you want, you can run the program here and check it out. Okay. Yeah. So that's all for this video for module question paper one. Similarly, let's discuss for module paper two now. Yeah, for my, this is the module five. Model question paper 2. 9a first question is with any diagram write an assembly language program to interface DAC. Okay. So here again the, this is the theory part of DAC. Okay. Then uh, again the, uh, this is the uh, 8051 connection to DAC0808. I have already discussed this and this is the I2V converter which I have told you already. Okay. And uh, last in the last uh, uh, along with this DAC they have told they, I have written one C code. Here in the question, they have mentioned that we need to be writing the assembly language code to generate the waveform of DAC, DAC, DAC 0808. So in this case, I am taking an example of uh, writing an assembly language program to generate a triangular waveform. Okay, so this is the simple code for that. Okay, you can make a note of it. Also write an assembly language program to generate a sine waveform. So any one of the code you can take it as an example and you can write it. Or you can write both the codes for to generate triangular waveform as well as sinusoidal waveform. Okay, so this is the code to generate the sinusoidal waveform here. We can take it down. Okay, so these are the different uh, voltage levels for a sinusoidal waveforms. That is 128, 192, uh, up to 128, 128 to 128. From a positive cycle to negative cycle, the values would be increasing to be reaching constant 128, and from here it would be decreasing and reaching constant 128. Okay, so yeah, you can note it down. So the next question is. Write a program to display hello world by interfacing LCD display to 8051 microcontroller. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is again the uh, LCD display program. What change you need to be doing here is here in place of uh, move A, Y, E, S, they have uh, written this code to display yes here. Okay. Y, E, S. So in place of yes, we need to display hello world. So here the code remains the same here. Here what we need to be doing is these lines are there at extra. We need to be adding some of the statement that is move a comma hash h. Then these two lines again move a comma hash e l l o w o r l d. Separately we need to be writing here. Then again we need to be writing separate codes for us. Uh, C O M N W R T data W R T and delay. Then we need to end the code. Okay. Yeah. So this was that program here you can note it down. So the next question is with a neat diagram write an assembly language program to interface ADC. ADC is analog to dig digital converter to 8051 microcontroller. Okay. So here are some of the theory part if you want you can note it down. And after that this is the waveform generated. Okay. And this is the simple uh, 8051 uh, connection of ADC 0804 you can note it down. Okay. And this is the programming of ADC 0804. Okay. In uh, assembly language. You can note this also. Okay, so this was the uh, interface and diagram of uh, assembly language program to interface ADC 0804. Okay, write all the theory part because it consists of 10 marks. Theory part, output waveform generated, steps to generate it, uh, each uh, pin description, then uh, interfacing diagram, then one simple assembly language 
code okay you can note it down so the next question is again the most important question of all in this module it consists of 10 marks with a neat diagram explain the interfacing of stepper motor using 8051 microcontroller stepper motor interfacing okay uh, write the theory part because it consists of two kinds uh, two steps that is one kind is called a stator and one uh, the out so uh, the inner thing is called a uh, rotor and the outer thing where the rotation takes place in the stepper motor is called a stator okay it consists of north to south poles of four coils okay then a switching sequence of motor and all the theory part of step angle and all you can write it down if you want then these are the full step mode half step mode sequence table for clockwise as well as anti clockwise because in beautifully in the shape of a diagram they have mentioned it you can note it down so this is for half half step okay it consists of eight steps okay half step this is in clockwise direction this is in anti clockwise direction as you can see okay this consists of eight steps so this table is required the 8051 connection for stepper motor okay if you want you can write it down here explanation for the diagram can be done then uh, one simple alp code here okay if you want as an example you can give it okay you can note it down any one of the example you can give it okay so this was all the what to say explanation and uh, uh, a diagram part of uh, stepper motor interfacing okay you can note it down yeah so that's all for this uh, video we have discussed all five model modules model paper solutions so along with the some of the assembly language program is pending that i'm going to be uh, providing it to you in a very short amount of time also similar assembly language programs i have already discussed it and kept it in uh, while we are discussing concept videos and important questions related to this microcontrollers so all those videos are available in our playlists okay you can refer them as well and also model paper solutions have provided separate five videos for five modules okay it is available in our playlist as well it might be appearing on the right of your screen now please refer them support us guys all the best for the exams thank you